What is going on everybody? This is Steve Sterling with Sentinel17 Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I greatly appreciate it. As always, if you enjoy the video, please give it a like, feel free to leave a comment below, and feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my great content. Ubisoft is facing a unique problem, um, especially with a lot of their franchises. I think they've milked them to death. Now, what I mean by that is, I believe that a lot of the franchises that they've had for the past two console generations have pretty much run their course. Now I am going to go into detail regarding this concept in this video and I'm going to go through different franchises to explain it, starting with of course Assassin's Creed. Now some people might not know that Assassin's Creed actually didn't start as Assassin's Creed, it started as Prince of Persia Assassins. And that was back when Prince of Persia was a thing. Now we obviously know that Assassin's Creed has flourished. Prince of Persia has almost been forgotten. There is a remaster of some of the old Prince of Persia games that's being released. And I think that is Ubisoft indicating that they do want to revisit that franchise. This of course might be a workaround for Ubisoft to address one of the problems that I talked about in one of my previous videos where half of the Assassin's Creed fan base likes the older games, Black, Black Flag and Back, and half the fan base likes the newer games with the newer RPG feel to them. And if they actually bring back Prince of Persia and they have the older Assassin's Creed feel to it, they can keep Assassin's Creed going in this new direction while appealing to the old Assassin's Creed fans with Prince of Persia that leans heavily towards the way the series used to be. There is an article about Prince of Persia transitioning to Assassin's Creed, I'll link it below. Now as far as the Far Cry franchise, it wasn't really hot until Far Cry 3 came out in late 2012. Far Cry 2 wasn't as much of a hit as Ubisoft had wanted, and with Far Cry 3 they took the series kind of in a new direction. They put you as a protagonist that had relatively no training, and he's in the middle of the jungle, essentially fighting for his life, learning as he goes. Now there was a sort of RPG feel to this game, but when I say that, it didn't really affect your ability um, regarding fighting different types of enemies. Except for maybe bosses you weren't allowed to fight until specific missions within Far Cry. The one thing that drew a lot of people into Far Cry is it felt fresh and it felt exciting having almost a new IP. And granted, Far Cry wasn't a new IP, but Far Cry 3 made it feel like it. And for a lot of people, Far Cry 3 was the best game in the franchise. And for those of you that have played Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, you probably enjoyed it equally as much. Now, of course, after Far Cry 3, in a lot of people's opinion, it started going downhill, but Far Cry saw an evolution over time that eventually culminated with Far Cry New Dawn, which, in my opinion, was not a good move by Ubisoft because they kind of painted themselves in a corner with Far Cry because now you have Far Cry New Dawn, and they said, oh, well, the apocalypse happened in Far Cry New Dawn happens after the bombs fell. And now Far Cry 6 takes place in an island frozen in time. So it's set in Cuba. You're, you're meaning to tell me that if bombs dropped on the rest of the world, the people in Cuba aren't going to look up and say, hey, what the hell are those fireworks in the, on the horizon? You mean to tell me the people in Yara aren't going to have seen the apocalypse and it's not going to have affected them somehow? stop all the shipments from other countries. I call bullshit on that one, but we'll see how Ubisoft swings it. I am looking forward to Far Cry 6, by the way. I just think they've kind of backed themselves in the corner with that particular franchise. Next up, of course, we have Watch Dogs Legion. And in my opinion, it was a lot of fun, but it definitely wasn't as strong as Watch Dogs 1 or 2. Watch Dogs 2 was kind of the best game in the franchise, in my opinion, and I think in a lot of people's opinions, Watch Dogs 2 was the best. With Watch Dogs Legion, you don't really play as one single protagonist, you do play as multiple protagonists, and it kind of feels like there's really nowhere for the franchise to go after this. And it's kind of sad to see Watch Dogs in this type of predicament, but maybe Ubisoft is making room for some of their other IPs that have rested. Now, Beyond Good and Evil, the last game in the franchise, of course, came out in 2003. We saw at E3 2017, Beyond Good and Evil 2, but we haven't really heard anything about it. And so I think a lot of people are waiting to hear more about this because 
the franchise still has life in it. You also have the Rayman franchise, which in recent years there have been games that have gone to iOS, small mobile games, but I think there's still room for the franchise to show up on consoles. You have Call of War, Call of War as the Cartel, the last game we saw was 2011, and they could take Call of War as in a more Red Dead Redemption way, but I think it's another IP that they need to continue to invest in. Driver San Francisco, the last game, of course, in the Driver franchise, was released in 2011, and aside from an app that we found in Marcus's phone in Watch Dogs 2, there hasn't been really anything referencing this particular IP, and I think if they did it right, Ubisoft could reinvigorate the Driver franchise. Now, of course, the elephant in the room that everyone has been talking about and that Ubisoft knows people want is Splinter Cell. Now, the last game in the franchise was Splinter Cell Blacklist in 2013, and we've had Sam Fisher show up in different games, such as Ghost Recon Wildlands. But I think it's time for us to see Sam Fisher get a proper sequel and for him to have his own game, possibly next gen. Ubisoft knows this. Will they give it to us? Who knows? Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so already. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new content. And feel free to follow me on Twitter at Sentinel17.